In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can convert a JPEG image to a PNG image or a PNG image to a JPEG image. And the reason why I'm making this video is because of so many questions I've gotten from different people that have installed DeepFace, the latest encoded and cracked DeepFace Live on their system remotely um, in different countries and in different continents. And um, most of you don't know how you can convert your JPEG image to PNG image or PNG image to JPEG image. The latest and encoded cracked DeepFace um, software works perfectly on PNG when you put PNG um, files on it, especially for those of you that um, wants to use a different kind of face to prank anybody on different social media platform. Now, if you want to put your own image, whether male or female, whether black or white, and you want that face to be your face, for those of you that have installed that particular version on their system, the picture that the deface version, that encoded and cracked version reads so fast and works perfectly well is only PNG files. And that is the reason why I want to show you guys how you can convert your JPEG image to PNG image. And you can also use that uh, method to convert your PNG image to JPEG image as well. So we are going to dive right into my system and I'm going to share with you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that. You don't need any additional software to be installed in your system. On default, Windows 10, Windows 11, even Windows um, um, 7, I think every Windows has this particular software on default in it. So let's go over to my system. Let me start with an image. Okay. This, um, this is my download. In my download, if you open this image, this image is PNG file. It doesn't have any background in it. It's not every PNG file that does not have any background. You can save any kind of image as PNG file, okay? But most of the pictures that you see on the internet on your system that don't have um, background in it, those images are PNG files, okay? Let's close this and go. Now let's go over to this image and click on properties. You can see this image is a PNG file. But meanwhile, that does not mean that all PNG file doesn't have a background. Ordinary image can still be a PNG file. Like this is a, um, this is a thumbnail. If you right click on it and go to properties, you can see this is a PNG file. Most of my images, I save them in PNG format. This is also a YouTube thumbnail. If you right click on it and um, go to properties, you can see this is a PNG file. It's not, it's not that it can be on JPEG, but PNG file is um, quite very easy to read, especially when it comes to DeepFace, the latest encoded and cracked DeepFace that I've been installing for people. Now, let's quickly do this, okay? Let me scroll down to an image. Let me use this image for an example. This image doesn't have a background. Yours can have a background. Even if it has a background or it doesn't have a background, that does not mean it's not, it's not going to work. It's still going to work whether background or no background. What you should be focused on is the how clear the face is, okay? Now, if you right click on this image and go to properties, this is a PNG image, okay? Let's go to my documents. There's no image here. Let's go to um, download where I have this image. You can do this with image that has a background. You can do this with image that doesn't have a background. Now, I'll click on this image and open with, okay? Open with photos. Okay, you can see photo. This is Windows default um, application. I didn't install any additional software. Once you have your Windows, you will have these photos. You have paint. Paint is also a default um, image editor on Windows, from Windows 8 or even Windows 7. Paint is almost in all the windows, but I'm using Windows 11 to do this. On Windows 10, you can also do this. Now click and open this. Now in case if your image is too big, all you need to do is come over on top of here. If you use your mouse here, you can see edit image. Once you click on it, it will show you um, a crop sign. You can see you can crop and crop and only crop a certain area. Ctrl Z, undo. So once you click on this, um, undo. So once you click and drag any of this section, okay, it's going to, you can see if 
you guys can see that this image undo 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 so with this it can crop your image to a certain size i've always told you guys that if you want to add any image make sure you crop it so that to be showing only your head and shoulder that does not mean that you cannot wave when your face changes you can also wave in the new encoded and crack the face but you have to capture the actual face so that the, the, the face will look very clear you can do this with um photos which is this software you can do this with uh, photoshop the advantage of photoshop is you have a um, more advanced tool to you know make the image finer and better all right so after cropping your image to the size you want the next thing you need to do is you can even adjust brightness you can see you can adjust brightness you can adjust exposure you can contrast you can do a whole lot highlights you know there's a whole lot you can do shadow you know okay this should be okay all right scroll down saturation this is saturation change the color reduce it to black and white you know warmth you know there's a whole lot of things you can do here change you can change different colors you know now when you're done you know editing your image this is a png image you guys should not forget now the next thing you need to do is come over here and save as copy click on save as copy once you click on save as copy i'm going to save this on um, documents since we don't have any image on documents okay now once you select documents you can come over here the image is already png image so i'm going to convert it to jpeg and i'm going to convert it from jpeg to png image as well so come over here save as type click here and jpeg let me name it one and click on save now the image has a wide background right if you go over to your documents now you can see this is one if you double click on it and open it you can see this is the same image now if you right click on this image and go to properties this is a jpeg image so what i'm going to do now i'm going to save this image as two i'm going to use this particular image i'm going to convert this jpeg image now i'm going to convert it to png image this jpeg i'm going to convert it back to png image but this time around since we we are working from this it's going to have a background which is not bad in case if you want to use it for your difference the new encoded and cracked difference um, software that i've been installing for people now right click on it again okay and go to open with same photos all right now you can see it has a background it can still go back and use the one that has no background which is this this one has no background but i've used it if you if you create a png image with this it's still not going to have a background but let me first of all do this right click on this image and go to photos open with photos now click on edit and you can decide to crop you can still not decide to crop but come here and save copy as all right let's go to documents where we save the other one which is one so this one we're going to name it two with white background two with white background now come over here and select png good and save go back again to with white background now right click on it if you go to properties you will see that this is a png file and if you come over here and right click and go to properties of this one this is a jpeg file now if you go over to my documents and go to the original file which is the one that i have removed the background which is this you can still right click on this and open with photos photo and click here edit once you click here this image has no background it's showing what background but this is not actually a background because it's like bricks so if you go over here and click on save as copy and 
come over safe type png file west png png and three with no background and click on save once you click on save you can see this image has been saved let's go over to my documents you can see I think this is three with no background. Double click on it, you can see it has no background. Now, right click and go to property. You can see this is a PNG image. So, if you can save your file in PNG image, whether with background or without background, fine and good, you're good to go. So, you can copy this file and put at the section where I always tell you guys, those of you that have installed um, the latest and encoded deface um, version that you can use image to change to your face on a full body where you can wave and do every other thing this is how you can convert your image from png to um, jpeg and jpeg to png if it doesn't have a background you can decide to leave it like that if it has a background it still doesn't make any difference okay the main thing is that the image is going to be your face in your live video call if you want to find your friends or your family or your followers and all that so guys this is how you can change your png file to jpeg file or jpeg to png file and for those of you that are watching my video for the first time my name is asuiken mckinsley and on this channel i give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant things that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend i make sure i give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my videos make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video like always, you guys should stay creative and remain blessed. So many updates are coming your way this 2024. All right. So you guys should stay tuned. I have a whole lot for you guys.